These plastic bags. Reduction targets. Ocean currents. Environment council. The plastic bags fake. Plastic is now everywhere, and it turns up in surprising places. Enter an everyday office, and the walls, floor, furniture, and even the pot plants could be made of plastic. Similar to the way digital has infiltrated every aspect of our lives, so too has plastic. You may not realize it, but even the very clothes on our backs are often made from synthetic plastic fibers. And this is just the start. The production of plastic has grown exponentially since the 1960s to over 311 million tons per year globally. That's equal to the weight of 58 million elephants every year. Worryingly though, this is just the beginning for plastic. And by 2050, this figure is set to quadruple, mostly made up of packaging and other items that we only use once. This growth reflects how wonderful plastic is to manufacturers. It is like catnip to them. It is light, cheap, and flexible. Over the years, consumers have embraced it completely, and we are now totally hooked. This has turned us into a society addicted to disposable single-use plastic items. One of the fundamental problems with plastic is that it is incredibly hard to get rid of. A plastic water bottle, for example, can take over 400 years to decompose. A plastic straw looks wonderful for a few minutes while you use it, but it then becomes a waste problem for approximately 200 years afterwards. And almost every piece of plastic we have ever created is still out there somewhere in some form. The plastic problem is creating front page news and the UN has declared it a planetary crisis. So governments are starting to act. The EU now has a plastic strategy and is taking aim at single use. Industry says we should just burn it. After all, plastic is made from oil and getting rid of all that plastic means manufacturers need to make more of it. This is good news for the oil industry, which year upon year is pumping increasing amounts of money into plastic production. But incineration is sweeping the problem under the carpet. It opens the door to a huge growth in packaging, further encouraging a throwaway society. And it is deeply corrosive to recycling, repair and reuse schemes. Bio-based plastics might sound good, but they are still part of a throwaway culture. During the manufacture of plastic, companies add toxic chemicals, we need to remove these to facilitate recycling and stop harmful pollution. And we need to put pressure on the plastic industry to incorporate recycled material into manufacture. At a government level, we need reduction targets. Plastic is not as fantastic as we once thought, and we need to wean ourselves off it. People will nudge towards shopping bag alternatives by adding a small charge, so why not other packaging too? Tax breaks could help recycling. So too could the type of return schemes that once made the glass Coke bottle so famous. We consumers can also do our bit by refusing to accept single-use items. Say no to the straw in your drink. Take your reusable coffee cup with you and pass on throwaway plastic at parties. We live on a finite planet and we cannot burn or bury our way out of the problem. We need a system change and we need it now.